We're checking in with team number 401 here at the Detroit Championships. I'm here with Alex and Cam. We're going to talk a little bit more about the robot and some of their initiatives as well. So, Alex, I got to talk to you. First thing we're seeing up here, a huge elevator going on. So talk to me a little about uh, the elevator process and kind of uh, what's behind that as well. So we decided to do something a little bit different this year. We went with a single stage unfolding elevator. So it starts out folded down and in the beginning of the match it folds up to eight feet and three inches tall. Right. It stays up and it goes up with a single chain and the carriage itself goes from bottom to top in half a second. Half a second? Yeah. I'd like, are you really saying half a second or is it really, really half a second? It is really, really half a That's second. That's incredible. Absolutely. So uh, looking as well, too, I know uh, you mentioned you guys have a buddy bar and intake. You got some cool stuff going on with gearboxes. So pick another one of these, Cam. Uh, do you want to go through the intake and what you guys have? So uh, we have a virtual four bar intake. So it's uh, pivoted by this one motor here. And these chains actually create uh, kind of a virtual linkage. And so we use uh, PID control on this, just a positional PID controller, and it actually creates sort of a software spring. So the motor is actually behaving like a spring and allowing us to like hit walls and stuff without damaging anything. And uh, we have uh, the intake wheels are spun at different speeds to pivot, and then we have these sensors here to detect when we have a cube. So it's all automated. And how about this drivetrain here? I'm noticing that you went with the uh, 8775 drivetrain here, right? Four on each size. So talk to me about some of that decision process and why did you want to go that route? All right, so this is a custom gearbox. So we wanted to make something that was going to go really fast, but we wanted to keep um, our weight down as much as possible. So with the 775 Pro motors, we have more power than three sims, but it weighs roughly about two. Very cool. And then looking uh, at uh, the buddy bar, that you guys have here. So when you looked at the game originally and you're like, okay, I need to accomplish more ranking points going through, what inspired you to go the buddy bar route uh, versus maybe like a, a, a grappling hook that maybe went to the side or something? Uh, so we tried designing ramps at first uh, and we uh, it ended up putting us overweight uh, and ramps were not really practical with this design. So we figured uh, we'd have a good majority of teams that would be able to climb the rung anyway. And so the buddy bar would be a good fit while being, being able to be lightweight. So as we wrap up here, uh, you guys were talking about a community event uh, that you have going on. You do a bunch of different community initiatives, so throw one at me and, and let us know what's going on with that. So uh, one thing I really liked was we do girls' coding camps in the summer. So girls will come to our shop and they'll do different types of coding to learn how it starts, to get into STEM a little bit more. They're young. We did one where they would take sentences, they would write their own sentences, and the program would convert them into code for them. So it starts off pretty simple since code is really not simple. But they can start off and they can get into it and see if it's something that they really enjoy while they're young. Well, 401, best of luck to you here at the Detroit Championships. Thanks for talking to us. Hopefully looking to make a deep run here at Detroit. Thanks, guys.